Yo, it's time to check out Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 5, Episode 6, and Aya has found herself in a very dangerous situation. How is she going to get away from Fukuchi? She's either going to use a piece of Kunikita's journal, perhaps there's an item written on it that can help her escape, however, I don't know what item that could be, and the other option, or at least I believe it's the other option, is hiding in that dang coffin with Bram, and the thing is, will Bram out her or will Bram protect her because he doesn't really like Fukuchi definitely curious to see how it's going to play out but if she gets in that coffin I'm going to absolutely lose my mind bro let's jump in at the port in sky in the sky part two dude all right man dude how all right <laughs> she's in that coffin bro she's in that coffin bro wait Maybe not, because Bram's not in there with. <laughs> Maybe he's going to get thrown off here. It is. These are the two agents. Oh, I like this guy's design, dude. <laughs> British intelligence, social escort. Secret to... Secret delivery? Why is this like blurred out like that? Is that supposed to be like that because it's a secret? That's true. They're actually bringing it to Fukuchi now that I think about it. Because he's supposed to be like the hero of the world. <laughs> Might as well play the role, dude. Might as well play the role. Alright. Aya can get away, dude. Not in your plans, right? Right. And now I'll keep it from getting into Fukuchi's hands. They're gonna leave. Yep, they're gonna leave. Because the threat of the terrorists are there. You ain't getting one order there, Fukuchi. Ain't happening, buddy. Alright, man. Alright. The detective agency is a couple steps ahead now. Or at least a step ahead, it looks like. Oh, no. She's in the coffin. Oh, she's in the coffin, bro. I'm not mad, bro. Because anytime I can hear this voice actor, I'm happy. Because I love this voice actor. What? No, that's blood, bro. From his nose? Oh my goodness, it's Fyodor, isn't it? Bro, this dude is a menace! Bro. Are you telling me this man accounted for Rampa 1-Up and Fukuchi? Yo, that's right. He can, like, extend his shit, right? Extend his blade. Mm. Oh, of course it fell into his hands. Yep. Wow. Fyodor. It's because of Fyodor, dude. Dude, is he not? He's not going to know. Yeah, he, dude. He's completely defeated, bro. Wait. Wait, what? Is that not what the one... So why is he saying it's about... What? Oh, Is it... The Zai did it using no longer human? Bro, <laughs> just one thing after another, bro. I'm sitting here being like, this is the second time they duped Rampo, dude. Fyodor duped Rampo, but the Zai had something up his sleeve. So the Zai duped uh, Fyodor in that moment. Bruh, this is so sick, dude. <laughs> Smart. Smart. <laughs> Wait, 
I love that the Zai's sort of guiding him, bro. <laughs> yeah. Taking things into his own hands. <laughs> yeah, it did, bro. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, oh, is that my boy? Is that my boy? We bring in the gravity, dude? Yo, Chuya's coming to... Wait, what? I literally... Dude, this show is insane. I literally just got done saying that they can't get to this guy because he's in jail. And Chuya's coming. Bruh, it keeps proving me wrong and I love it. Wait, what? Wait, what? Where did he go? Aren't they here to kill him, though? Isn't he here to kill Fyodor? Remember, he's a wild card. No pun intended. Wait, what? I thought he wanted to kill Fyodor. Oh, he is! This dude's a menace! Bro, it didn't even phase him. <laughs> Yo! My man's just like, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I love this show so much, bro. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, dude's nuts. Alright, back to this horror scene, dude. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, my man got T, dude. What? No way, bro. Oh, so she knew he was in there? She just said, you look different. Yeah, well, she saw him out of the coffin. So she decided to go in there and take the chance. I guess desperate times, right? Bro, she's going to befriend the vampire, dude. That's the thing, though. That's the thing, though, dude. Brown's gone, bro. You're finally being one upped, bro. <laughs> right? So, what are you gonna do now, dude? And you can't get one order open. Meanwhile, we have this going on. This guy being created by the page and all that, dude. Yeah, what are you gonna do? There's so many players, bro. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, you just got wrapped into it. Dude. Oh, my goodness, dude. You got more work to do on this earth, man. These guys are, they're real gambling men, dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sigma, you and they're laughing about it. Yeah, Sigma, you're starting to see how crazy these people are, dude. Bro, she's crawling around the airport with a, with a vampire on her back, dude. Some of those were vampires. I saw the fangs. <laughs> oh! That's wild, man. <laughs> and here she is trying to save the world, man. 
It's Kunikita. It's a Kunikita, bro. Bro, is that going to be enough to convince the Archduke of Darkness? Wait, that's right. He talked about this before. He wants a boombox or something, right? He wants a Walkman. <laughs> yeah, he talked about this before that he wanted a wireless radio. <laughs> Man, my dude, dude, he just wants to sleep. Let's go! Yo, are you kidding me? They're playing the ED, dude. Welcome to the modern age there, Bram. Bro. Bro, the vampire is going to help them. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> yes! Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go, dude. Never would have thought that was going to happen. But here we are, bro. It makes total sense considering that was the first thing he asked about. When he woke up from his slumber, he wanted to, he wanted the wireless radio. Aya provided it, and this dude is willing to help her out. This is crazy. This feels like the turning point when it comes to uh, thwarting Fukuchi, right? I cannot wait for the next episode, man.